Okay, uh, for the African leaders, uh, I'm really just gonna echo uh, what the panel has already said. I think it's a doubling down on liberalization of the economies, really opening them up, a, a specific focus on electricity. Um, and I, I, I really like Howard's point about the internal engagement. I think that's, that's key. And then lastly, I would say, you know, really embrace technology. It doesn't have to be a leapfrog, but at least thinking about as a stopgap measure to deal with some of the, uh, you know, infrastructure and some of the sectoral problems that Africa has. For the American president, I think the starting point is the paradigm has changed or is changing. And I think that gets to how do we engage with Africans. I think we need to think more about empowered individuals uh, that sort of cross, uh, cut across borders. There's a number of business leaders and religious leaders who have influence uh, across the continent and are, are, are worthy for engagement. I think as, as Howard has already pointed out, at the sub-national level, there's a lot of really good work to be done with state leaders and city leaders who are really uh, the, um, the laboratories of democracy and reform on the continent. Uh, on the international, I know we'll have a panel uh, next about that, but I think that our engagement must, it's gotta be deeper and broader. Uh, it's not just the Europeans, it's not just China. I think a number of countries in, across the globe are seeing uh, what we're talking about today, about sort of the, what Africa means and how it could play an important role on the security side uh, and, and for economic investment. So I think broadening our international partners on Africa, recognizing that some international partners have just more credibility in Africa than we might too, and that, that that's a, we can leverage that sort of the strength. And the last point, maybe uh, not to add on a side of levity, but I think that we need to harness Africa's soft power a little more. I think Africa is you know, blazing a new path culturally, uh, globally, uh, with its musicians and its film industry and its sports. And I think that we miss opportunities to really connect with uh, Africans uh, in villages and cities and across borders who, who are, are finding role models there and that are, you know, quite frankly, very interested in our pop culture and our world as well. Great, well, join me in thanking an excellent first panel, please.